Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with some Don't Starve. This is a brand new series on the channel. I'm excited. And if you guys don't know, this isn't regular old Don't Starve. This is the new DLC Shipwrecked. I've played a little bit of the old game, but I am by no means remotely good. I'm not sure how many days I've made it in, but it's definitely not far. We are going to play, and uh, I'll start a new game. I had a little practice run there. This is the Reign of Giants DLC. That was the last one. Added a whole bunch of cool, crazy monsters. We are going to be playing not with this. How do I get over there? <laughs> there. With Shipwrecked. And I'm disappointed, guys, because... I went and picked out a character I thought would be great for this series. Tom Hanks. First of all, the main character's name is already Wilson. Tom, of course, good buddies with Wilson. Also, I've learned two things about him since uh, downloading this character mod. He is a descendant of Abe Lincoln. I had to Google that, it's true, and that has some effect on how he plays in-game. He also has type 2 diabetes, which means he can't eat sugary foods like berries. But sadly, for some reason, this doesn't work with the Shipwrecked DLC. Why would you add Tom Hanks the castaway and not let you use him on an island? Wasting my time. So we're going to be playing as Wilson, the gentleman scientist. And I think that's it. Let's do this thing. This game is relentless, guys. Brutally hard. I have a vague idea of how to survive in the original Don't Starve, and I've managed okay in Reign of Giants, but this is very different. We're on islands, so there will be no roads. Part of a wrecked ship. Cool! There will be no roads. Uh, I'm sure other things will definitely be different. We're gonna need boats and whatnot. Day one in this game is fairly simple. You want to collect twigs, you want to collect grass, you want to collect some flint, and at some point, you make an axe. If you can make a backpack, you're a winner. A true winner, but that requires, I think, a decent amount of grass in this game. Maybe it's palm fronds. If you look on the left here, we have our craftable items. And I think it's a survival item, the backpack. There, thatch pack. So I need four, what is those, palm fronds. Right, so we need an axe first. Which requires sticks and stones to make. Oh. Now this stuff, from what I can tell in my practice run through, I could only uh, chop down with a machete a lot of this stuff. So we're gonna stick to we're gonna stick to the sandy beach. Keep collecting. And um, guys, this game represents uh, one of the changes I talked about in my recent Christmas channel update uh, to the channel. And I think uh, you're going to be seeing more series. I'm going to try to give you guys this game every other day for at least a while until I die or if I die shortly then until I die at the end of a long run. I think, are we ready to craft? No, we need some stone, don't we? Oh, we can do an axe. Okay, do the axe. Yeah, this will allow us to get some wood, which we'll need for a fire tonight, because when it gets dark and don't starve, lord, it's bad for you. You can see up on the left there is our clock. So we have a day-night clock. I think uh, because we're on the islands, you get more day and less night. I don't know. It seems like less, definitely. That big red dusk time used to be a lot bigger when I played regular don't starve. And then the three things under it are your main stats. If any one of them hits zero, you die. We've got, uh, appetite, hunger. Oh, you're just sitting there? Oh, I could have chopped you so good. You little crab bastard. Alright, I'm collecting lots and lots of grass and saplings. You, you want them. Especially the saplings. So let's chop this mofo down. And I'll show you what you might get out of that. So we get log, palm leaf, and we need a bunch of palm leaves. Which brings me to this beast. Let's chop it. Much more work. Hopefully much more resources. Oh, coconut palm leaf. Couple of logs. 
The logs we definitely will need. We're gonna have to light a fire tonight. The darkness is terrifying. Oh, I'm excited, guys. I'm excited to get into a game, to go deep. Uh, to go, you know, 15, 20 episodes. And I'm hopefully gonna bring you them... If I can keep it up, I'm hopefully bringing them to you every day and maybe with another series in between. Keep that Fallout series going, I'm thinking. Uh, chop. Get chopped. Yeah, this game has a whole array of characters. It has a great sense of humor. I think we're almost in backpack country. One more palm frond. The backpack lets you carry more stuff. We're not quite there yet, but it's a good goal for day one. And plus, we're getting some coconuts, so we'll have some food tonight. Coconuts might be a major source of food on this island. Okay. Alright, that means... Thatch pack. Sweet, so we've now got that equipped. We got four extra inventory spots. What's next on our to-do list? I know we need a pick. How close are we to the pick? Oh, we can do it right now. This will hopefully let us get gold. And gold is uh, something we need for a science machine, which kind of opens up a whole world of crafting possibilities for us. Okay. Rocks, rocks, rocks. Okay, give me some damn gold, you fools. I don't think you find any in these regular old boulders. You might. No. Just lots of rocks. Um, we might have to leave this island to find gold. Usually the gold boulders... Oh! No, that's nitra. That stuff's garbage. I'm not even picking it up. It's at least in the early game, it's not particularly useful to you. I'm worried we're not finding gold on this little island, guys. We need to think about a raft already. Dang, I wanted to spend the first night on my first island. Alright, uh, you don't get to pick how it goes. Let's have a- oh, good! Oh, there's more to it. Much more to it. A dark, creepy forest. Good. That's just what I'm looking for. Hey! Oh my god, there's a snake there. What are you? Stay back. Vicious beast. Picking flowers actually lowers, or improves your sanity, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, okay, we need a fire. It's getting too dark. As soon as that meter goes from that red section to that blue section, and you haven't started a fire, it's game over. I've got the tools, so we'll see if I can find a gold-filled boulder. I can't. I can't find a golden boulder. I will at least start the fire around some stuff that I can gather. Okay, so the fire's been lit. That'll help our sanity and whatnot. You would think, although it seems to be going down. And we'll just keep collecting. It's all good. I'm not stressing. By the end of the night, we'll have tons... You better stay out of my shoes. Uh, there we go. Get that axe out. Uh-oh, what the hell was that? Guys, in my practice run, I don't want to spoil it for you because we're going to come across the same stuff in this run as Wilson, but man, did I find some crazy stuff. Crazy. Yep. Okay, let's add a little fuel to this fire if I can remember how. Get added! Yeah, that fire doesn't do much, man. We're already at the dang limits of it. Oh good, my axe is broken. Nice, this is things going just swimmingly right now. Ah, I'm gonna, while we're here, guys, let's, we might as well cook what we've got, right? Cook up some of these coconuts. I'll see if I have anything else that's cookable. I don't think I do. And you know what? Let's add a little fuel, just to be safe. We don't want this thing going out on us tonight. Oh, good timing. Uh, I'm pretty hungry, so let's, let's throw a little of this back, and we'll see what we need. To build a boat and hit the open sea. Oh! Is that- that's not a golden boulder? What is that? A limpet rock. Limpet rock. Uh, I might as well- I might as well break you open. Just make sure. Make sure you don't have gold inside ye. Oh, look at that jellyfish. Just flint and rocks. Flint and rocks. Okay. 
How much of our wood resources are going to get used up by a raft? Right. Okay. So we'll have to chop wood as soon as we land. I'm picking a direction, guys. I think we're just going to go west. Drive it. And we're going to see how she goes. Dogfish. Oh, God. Jellyfish. Stay away from me, you freaks. Okay. We've done it. Set off in a direction, likely never to find our way back home. And we'll just hope. I'll take that seaweed. Seaweed's a good sign, it means we're getting to land. Although these big open waves lead me to believe that I'm not getting anywhere near land, right? Are you jellyfishing me? Get away from me, you freak. Yeah, try following me into the open waves. This is like, this is, see, wouldn't, how good would it be if Tom Hanks was guiding us right now? If Tom Hanks was leading this adventure? What are you? Muscles? Oh, I might need a net for muscles. Is that a thing I can do now? Trap. Fishing rod. Fishing rod, maybe. But muscles. Oh, yes, land. Okay. We got land, y'all. Oh, what are those? Those don't look like carrots. Sweet potato. Now, guys, I'll say this. If this is like the carrot in regular Don't Starve, you don't want to pick them yet. Because there are seasons. There's winter you're going to have to deal with. And having these things here is, is usually good. So... I guess I'll keep collecting grass. Dang, what, what do we need right now? I should probably build... should probably build a shovel. I can't. Oh, I need a stupid science machine. Right, we need gold. Okay. Oh, that's a beehive. Well, one good little bit of advice, guys, if you're planning on playing this game, don't pick fights. Even if you think you can win. It's just a waste, waste of time and energy, and chances are you won't win, at least in my experience. You fight a pig man, you fight a spider, you fight a monkey, which I tell you exists in this game. Come on, golden rocks. Don't make me wait till day three. I don't have it in me. I don't have the patience, the time, or the stamina. I'm just following this coast, because that way I'm not going to get lost. We have plenty of wood. I've got a decent amount of twigs. What I need is gold. Solid gold. Oh, is that a berry bush? Yes! Oh, cool looking jungle berry bush. And I'll take the flower. Flowers help your sanity. Picking them. Like, just the act of relaxing. Just chilling and picking some flowers. That, that does good things for your mind in this game. <gasps> What have I found? A spider nest. Okay, this is about the worst thing you can find. It's pretty bad, but if I can pick those bear... Oh, okay, yeah, we'll see you later. Alright, we'll see you later, you stupid spider bastard. No time for that. So I mentioned, guys, hopefully this year, hopefully 2016 for me means more series like this, more games I, I get deep into. I feel like I've only grazed the surface of most games in my first year as a YouTuber. And I wouldn't, honestly, would not mind having some longer running series. We've got Fallout on the go right now. And hopefully Don't Starve stays there as long as Fallout does after that. We'll see. But I have two goals for this year. One is more. Make more videos. I want to make a video for every day of the year. Now, I don't mean that every single day we'll have a video, but by the end of this year, 365 videos. That's one goal. The second is, yeah, go deeper. For those of you that are here, that are watching... I'm tired of, you know, three, five, ten episode series. I want to get into these games. Go deep. There's there's new ground to be to be had. And with that in mind, I have a lot of games that suit that style. God dang, where am I going to find this gold? I think I've probably lost my, my raft. Can I get gold from this? Let's just try it, okay? Good. Great. Um, good. I'm starving. 
Nightfall is upon us, and my pickaxe has broken. Okay, guys, night has fallen on day two. We haven't found, we haven't even sniffed gold yet. My dang pickaxe be broke. Whoa. Let's make a new one of those. And, um, and I'm gonna need a fire soon. I have the supplies, right? I do have the supplies. I can't, oh, another night set up without a dang shovel, because the shovel lets you, the shovel lets you dig up things like grass and berry bushes so you can replant them and make a farm with all kinds of resources close by. Oh, snake. Oh, snake, more spiders, more spiders. Oh, this is a mess. I'll take those berries. Okay. Oh, God, I gotta get away from these snakes and, and make a fire. It's almost dark. Get on this damn sand and make your damn fire, you fool. Okay. What is that noise? Are those bees? Okay, good. Alright, let's cook what we found today, which is a seed. Oh, I ate it! Oh, good. That's worse than cooking it and eating it. And some berries. Oh, I think we gotta eat our coconuts, too. Okay, food is becoming an issue. I need this dang science machine. How about this? How about a torch? That way, we can at least gather some. Oh, again, once again, I make a thing right before we need it. Campfire, we're gonna leave you there. And we set out in search of a golden rock. I don't think it's on this island. I don't think there are golden rocks on any of the first couple islands we've found. And you can't get far in this game without it, so I guess we gotta go back to our raft, wherever that is. Shut up, you damn crab bastards. Is that really the noise a crab makes? Okay, well I guess food-wise we do have all these dang sweet potatoes here. So I should remember the location of this island. Oh. So we leave the Sweet Potato Island at the outset of day three, and we are in search of gold. I think I'm going to have to carry this adventure on in next episode, guys. Thank you so much for checking out this one, the debut episode of Don't Starve. I am Unite the Clans. I'll link you guys to my playthrough of Fallout 4 at the end of the video, and hopefully you are back for more Don't Starve with another episode in a couple of days. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. It's not too late. Stop. Turn around and leave. It's too late for you. You have that option. I'm just going to say not this. a lot of people can say that. I'm going to say this to you, man, friend. If, if you weren't scared of me, you wouldn't be telling me to leave. What you don't want is for me to pursue you doggedly, endlessly, to the ends of the earth until I find you and take back my damn kid. There are secrets here he does not want me to know. Secrets about my wife, about my boy.